How's it going guys? It's Austin. Welcome back to another video. So, um, I'm doing something that not a lot of people should be doing, at least at this time frame. Because the next Call of Duty, I mean, hell, the beta is, like, available in, what, like, a week and a half? Two weeks? Something like that? And I kind of took it upon myself, um, to, to start the camos again. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. No, no one does. No one has the answer. You think I would, but I don't. I've said this multiple times, but I've got majority of everything done except for last thing I've ever need to do is actually the snipers. I'm not just talking about polyatomic or platinum or anything. I'm talking gold, okay? So I have two snipers that's already gold, and that is the Signal 50 and the Intervention. The Signal 50 I used last night, and I got it pretty much done over with except for you know long shots because i can't do it until i get at least two more sniper rifles i'm gonna get all of them um i just got two more uh three kill streaks with the victus and then i'll have that gold because if you think about it because if you think about it quite honestly i already have 26 guns platinum ars are done i think smgs are done lmgs are done shotguns are done and a couple marksman rifles are done um knife and rise shields all done actually i can go ahead and yeah see there's the knife i got it all completed and everything and here's the riot shield and all its fabulous glory i don't know why i put myself through this just to complete it such a late time frame but you know we're here we're grinding um i'm gonna just work down this line right here uh victus i'll do that then move over to the wa2000 or the crack it 300 whatever you want to call it However, whatever name you refer it as, yeah, I'm going to use that one. It's still level 7. And then the MCPR 300, um, again, I just need to get 30 prone kills and then 9 more hip fire kills onto the gold challenge, which won't take long at all, especially with shipment. I've just been hugging a corner, being the rat that I am. Intervention's already done. SAB 50, it's done. Um... And then you have, then you just have the SBX 80 and I just need uh, mounted kills, uh, just five more and suppressor kills. It won't take too long. It, it's just been something I've casually been doing because I've gotten bored, not really much else to do. So I'm just, just doing that, seeing uh, how everything plays out. Is it a good idea? Probably not. Am I going to have fun with it in the meantime? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I hate this game. I have time of recording this. It's Thursday. I'm actually on vacation. I don't go back to work until Monday, which is honestly a relief. Honestly. I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood to hear people. So I'm just going to do that little number and mute everyone. I had everything muted last night whenever I was in shipment with that signal. So we actually have a family friend, uh, he's friends with my cousin Seth, and he races, right? He races four-wheelers, he, he, I don't know what year he had, I don't know what year four-wheeler he has, I know it's a Yamaha YFZ 450R, uh, just like mine, but mine's brand new, so I always tell him that uh, it has more horsepower, and it's faster than his. When, when it's not, uh, let's just get that clear and straight out of the gate right now, and I didn't know this about racing okay so i thought let's say if you have like pro people and then amateur and people that have never raced before i thought the people that have never raced before like the amateurs go first but uh, apparently i was flat out wrong and how it usually how it normally goes is you have people that's pro they go first and they'll wait to 30 seconds to a minute and then let the other row go, right? And our family friend, his name's JR, by the way. <clears throat> JR, if you're watching this, hello. Highly doubt you are. Anyway, so he races in like the 30 plus class. And I, I could be wrong about this part, but I think he's like the, I think he's like the third row to let go or whatever. Meaning that everyone else has like a, a minute to two minute head start, right? Well, apparently his last race, he, he placed fifth overall. And basically what that means in the entire race, so row one, two, three, four, and so on and so on, 
he placed fifth in front of all those people, right? So he was booking it. Zoom in. He finished first in his class, in his 30 plus class, but finished fifth overall. So he beat everyone in the race in, except for, you know, those four people in front of him. And to me, I think that's just mind boggling because I told Seth, my cousin, I told him um, a couple days ago. I was like, wonder like what much like, wonder what the difference is between his foiler and my foiler. Besides the obvious, he has a lot, a lot of expensive aftermarket parts for his four-wheeler. Me, I just got Nerf bars, a hand guard, and a grab bar. Just note the grab bar adds 35 horsepower. That's not a fact. That's just something I like to tell people. But apparently him and Seth were talking about like the differences between his four-wheeler and my four-wheeler. And he would compare it to like, you know when a kid starts out on a PW50? Yeah, apparently my four-wheeler is the PW50. And his is like a, um, a 250cc motorcycle. I'm sorry, but does a does the ECU really like add that much power? So what does any normal person do? Like they're like, oh, congratulations on the fast machine and everything. Not me, no. I went straight up to the source. Him, himself, messaged him the other night. I challenged him to a race. Will I win? No. Will I lose? Yes. But isn't there isn't there like that that chance? Someone that's never raced before, other than when I was really, really little on my little PW50, scared of mud. True story. Can you imagine what that's going to do to this poor man's confidence if he loses? I have nothing to lose. I have everything to gain. Just know this, if I win, I'm taking all his trophies. And I'm taking those A-arms too. He's just a better gamer, honestly. Look at that form. That patience, dexterity. It's unmatched. Why take me out with a rocket? I'm not that big of a threat. Look at my score. I got 10 kills and probably 25 deaths. No need to target me, okay? I can't even, sh I can't even shoot you if you're just standing still. Because when you're standing still, I'm getting lit up like the fucking 4th of July. I wasn't getting shot again. and I, I think I have gold now. If I don't, then this game is rigged. Look at that, yay, hooray. On honestly, I'm so happy with myself. We did it. Uh, what kind of shit is this map? I don't wanna, I'm scared of the nighttime. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. How about we just, instead of just doing that, we just go over to shoot house and I just get mounted up on that wall, get five kills and then proceed to go in front of the wall and then just lay down. This is another, uh, Jesus Christ, Austin. Come on, how can you be so ignorant? I just need five mounted kills. Let me have my spotlight. As soon as they get an indication that I am on a solid surface, they open fire. If he would have turned around and shot me in the face, I honestly would have would have quit. I would have went into retirement. Every time I mount. It's every time. And I know you guys are thinking like, Austin, it's only been a couple minutes. Uh, it's been hours for me. There's two other people right there. Hold on. He couldn't see, but still. Why me, right? He could have been a little bit over to the right. A little bit over to the left. I hit marked him. That would have been cool. But he chose me of all people. What did I ever do to you? Don't know how I hit that, but you know what? I'm better. He's better too. Okay, so I should have the challenge done. No, I, I, I literally need six more kills, but I don't think I have the mental fortitude for this anymore. Oh, this game. It's so mentally draining. Even though you're just sitting here. It's just, I hope Modern Warfare 3 is better. It is just better. Mm.